evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. When we left off last time, we had a really interesting conversation with Nerissa, and it's driving me crazy. She said, friends matter, she's all out of friends, she hopes we're looking after ours. And this means something. She said it, and we'd had the discussion, discussion that she found the way around the ribbon to send us to the open arms, so she's trying desperately to tell us something. I don't know what the significance of that is. I Friends matter? I'm... I don't know what fable she's referring to. Ah, I feel terrible. She really wants to help. I, I don't know. I don't know. But she did. Uh, Snow said, Beauty and the Beast wants to talk to them. And Nerissa did say, You should follow up on that. So we're at their apartment. Let's see what they want. And hopefully that'll help this friends thing come clear. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. Nope, they're fighting. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to you. Fine. Go off in a huff. Don't actually. I need to talk to you. Talking anyway. How's it going, guys? Not well. They're having some kind of fight. It does sound like they've got some issues with communication. Oh. What do you want? Uh, I was... Well? You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Excuse me? Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Well, cut the attitude and let me in Can then. I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Oh my god, I was not I trying to sleep with your wife. Long from her. You saw the room. Who it was a murder it? investigation, you idiot. Who's there? Beast. Are you gonna let me in or what? That's right. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Beast. Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Guys, I don't really have time for this. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. Right now? Right now? Can can't we let me get to whatever I gotta do first. There's a murder investigation going on, guys. Good mm. grief. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. <laughs> Let me tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. Beast, people are dying. I'm the sheriff. I'm trying to solve it. Why are you giving me all this crap? What is his problem? I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. How did and I go behind you your back? And call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. Oh, went behind his back because I, because I lied for it. Oh, come on. Do you want to keep fighting about that, or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and mm. answers. Talk That's about living in the all. past. Oh, well, it's a nice picture. Later. Why wouldn't they want it? But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk. We'll talk. Why are you knocking on all their stuff, Bigby? Oh, here they come. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. That's something they say, eh? I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Well, let's Did you hear come it. to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems, but it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. We so... should deal with this on our own. No, you shouldn't Maybe actually. Just going to complicate I'm the sheriff, and I want to see if he can help us out. Oh my god, yeah, I'm Why with are you, baby. Being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What? What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? 
Then say it to me. What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us. Uh, I'm gonna get him. We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Tell me what you know then. then Quit messing tell around. Me what the fuck is going on? Exactly. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? No. We couldn't just give that up. We never meant Everyone to had to like give this. up all kinds of stuff. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Why don't you sell Who some of your stuff to pay the crooked man back? Lived, like, like what? Well, answer it. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... <laughs> a day at the beach? Skiing hey, the slopes? Hey, we're not done here. <laughs> I should... We can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. <laughs> I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Who is it, guys? Help me help you. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. All right, thank you. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. Jersey? So, when I needed money... Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably... Dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Hmm. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. Oh, and that's where I guess Bloody he's Mary hit got it. hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Sounds like I a... guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pond. Worthwhile lead. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty and trouble. Beast? And... And what? You know that butcher shop, the cut above? Yeah. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick. <laughs> well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Oh, wow. Well. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. Huh. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right yeah. you don't. 
I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. We gotta check out both of them, Bigby. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Guys, learn to live within your means. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. You're scraping? None of us should. Okay. None of the fables should have to scrape to live by. They're right. But the entitlement out of these two. Look at their apartment. Look at all the nice things they have. Lots of other people are getting by with much, much less. A lot of other people have it so much worse than them. And yeah, I, I, I have some sympathy for them. Things aren't easy, but... Oh my god, you guys, get... Ugh. They're really grating on me here. They're really grating on my nerves here. I'm sorry for them that they made stupid decisions and they're in with the crooked man and I would like to help them with that, but they've got to learn how to be more frugal. They've got to learn to do away with some of the amenities they're used to having. And everyone... They're really, really making me angry. Everyone else that we've come across has had legitimate things they're really struggling with. They've had all kinds of crap going on. They are so down in the dumps. We have, Faith had to turn to, to being a hooker, as has the Little Mermaid. And then these two are going to complain to me that their posh apartment isn't as nice as their castle. They're going to try and tell me, well, we're used to a certain level of lifestyle. No. Ridiculous. We were royalty once. So? We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place... I used to be a wolf that could run around and eat people, and now I'm not supposed to. Bigby. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways... I'd like to know where it's coming I don't really from. think I owe you an explanation. I guess I kind of do. I'm just pissed at them for this attitude they're giving me at the end here. All right. The pawn shop, where we know for certain Mary has been, because she had the axe. Where we go, and that is where Beauty got involved in all of it, so they kind of know something, but then... The butcher shop is where he's getting packages, so that's got to be important, too. I want to go to both. I want to go to both. Uh... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? Yeah. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. Let's start there. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. So? There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. All right, is that their way of saying you only get one Wait, or the other? I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate Are it. Are you saying kill the Crooked what Man to saying? get you out of debt? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Well, no, I did kill the Tweedle. Not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the Crooked Man is dangerous. To all of Fable Town. He is. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big Man, B. these two are I'm disgusting. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. They need help, and I feel bad for them that they asked Snow for... But now I feel like this is probably why Snow couldn't help them, because their problems weren't legitimately problems. We need money so we can maintain the level of lifestyle we're used to. We are royalty. Centuries ago, get over it. Eh. We'll start off by... We don't want to be necessarily aggressive from the start. Maybe. But we'll go ahead and we'll... We don't want to pick a fight over the smoking, so... That's why I'm going to go ahead and quit. Very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Huh. Empty. Mm -hmm. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. 
Right. Yeah. He's only got two bags of chips over in his chip stand. Or three, I guess. Barely anything over here in the cold drinks. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Ooh, I wonder if this is some kind of code for, like, his drop-offs and stuff. Ring the bell or head right in? Let's go look at that package. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. At the Tweedles. Bigby Wolf? <laughs> How's it going? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, uh -huh. Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got. He hit here. that button, didn't he? There Fine was a button state, on the other side of that. Special. New York Strip. Oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Uh, sirloin. I know about the deliveries. The one's going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows Don't in give here. me that. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? You tell me. What was in that one? I've seen them before. Give it up. What's going I, on here? Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, yep, oh I'm real it. sorry. Hold on. I, I Watch just out, gotta Bigby. go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. No, no. Get back there. Yeah, he just did Shit. something. Oh, did it block it, or? Oh, boy. This is nice. Well, he's in here somewhere. I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Uh-huh. I've had enough of this shit, Johan. Come on out. Just wait in the front. I'll be right out. Nope. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. For your own safety, Johan? Tell me what's going on. Come on, damn it. I'm just doing my job, Johan. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh, God, she is gonna fucking kill me. Bloody Mary, bring it on. Ooh, jackpot. It's gonna get me killed. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't wanna die. Please, please don't kill me. You don't talk, I might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. Then talk. I'm dead. Either way. I wasn't actually going to kill you, Johan, but... Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. Hey, you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Well, crew. Why didn't you come to me? I'm the sheriff. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I let Mary in those... Porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. 
I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there we... Shh. No, well, don't hear anything. Let's open her up. What you should have done, Johan, is go straight to me in the first place. And we could have cleared him out. But you didn't, so now we gotta deal with the situation at hand. I'm not... I think he probably doesn't know what's going on in here. And I don't necessarily want to actually do anything to hurt him. I think he's just a terrified guy. Hmm. What did they make him back here? Black forest soil. Oh. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. I get why you flipped that switch, but you had a choice. You could have told me. If you hadn't warned them, I might be dealing with your problem right now. Told you? Huh. Yeah. You come told in me. here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? Where were you? You didn't tell me about it, I'm assuming. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Hmm, more glamours, huh? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Oh, we got all kinds of things to look at. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Tongue there of dog. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Love tinctures? Hamlin curves and way. And obviously they've... Chains. Yeah, chaining someone up here. getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. If they're making stuff here, are they chaining up people whose, like, blood or something would have magical properties for them to add to their potions? Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? I'll touch whatever I want to touch. It's a crime scene. Huh. They're making Looks illegal like stuff. Math or something. Yeah, slide her over. What do we get? Everybody on here? Do you know anything about Faith, this? Faith Lily, Auntie Green, I, I, I don't know. I think Georgie, I saw. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. Oh, that makes sense. So these must be the raw materials. No wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. How the hell did all this happen? I didn't see it. I didn't stop it. This is a whole lot bigger than we thought. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? Uh, you're not <laughs> He thinks he's just gonna change his subject. I like mean, that. finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. 
That's right. Mirror? It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? That's actually find a, a the good point. Man that way. Leave Although it's alone. broken, but maybe we can find the yeah. shot in Crane's apartment. Stuff like that mirror. I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. Oh. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Well, what do you want? Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. All right. So tell me this. What do you want me to do for you? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Mm. They won't care that I held up my end. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. There we go. Setting things right. All right, well, kind of excited because it sounds like maybe we do get to go to the Lucky Pond after all. And I'm still really wondering how, is this all gonna tie back to King Cole? Where is he? Why isn't he here? I wonder if there's gonna be a connection with that. Lucky Pawn. All right, and we'll go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time, see what we can find at the Lucky Pawn. At the very least, we should be able to get some answers about Woody's axe, maybe a little bit about Bloody Mary. If we're really lucky, I want to rematch her. We're going to take her down.